Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. The beautiful vibes you've been sending me is just overwhelmed, makes me overwhelmed and blessed at the same time. So, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please i love to uh to hear from you please drop me a line i would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic you gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with someone who's in need right now or even a fellow empath please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for stopping by my channel and showing so much love and support i truly feel blessed and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today i'm listening to kenneth again i love his uh, meditations it's called positive energy cleanse 528 hertz and 963 hertz healing miracle tones letting go of overthinking and ne negativity y'all since i've meditated for almost an hour i've been getting you know uh cotton mouth i don't know why my bad, y'all. I was thirsty. But, um, yeah, just going through all these things is just truly a blessing. But today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, Hayoka's feeling, feeling God, God and universe, yeah. feeling God and universe frequencies through other empaths. Y'all just don't know. I mean, I just had a little snippet about it, but it was so beautiful. You know, I didn't mean to be repetitive, but it is really beautiful because I do these videos for an outlet for me and, you know, also for you to be able to make sense of the things that we're going through and being able to push those beautiful frequencies out just to let people know you are not alone. You are not mentally messed up. You know, sometimes we feel by ourselves and, you know, the outcome of the things that we perceive is all in, in the view of perception uh, perspective that's what I meant to say but um you know we can really be going through a really messed up situation and you know some people you get frustrated when somebody tells you you can easily get out of this situation even if it might be something from a financial you know bind or some kind of you know crazy karmatic cycle that you're going through but it's just like you have to have faith within yourself knowing that when you are able to let go of things there's it's like god sending you all these signs and frequencies coming along to you um i'm sending you some it's just like you know when i tell y'all to drop comments you know y'all are off you know just you don't even know them but you're spiritually in tune to everybody that you're sending out those those higher frequencies to other people saying you know what i feel the love that you know i've been blessed with let me allow that to go towards somebody else who's truly needing it right now because even though you might see somebody that's laughing and talking you know like me i always laugh and talk with y'all there's sometimes i cry tears of joy there's sometimes y'all see me when i'm very sad but that's you know universe god wants me to allow y'all to see that because there's times we do uh, cry behind closed doors it takes us a minute saying you know what allow me to feel these things but i need to be able to let go of them knowing you know I, i'm not going to get put you know things are not going to be put on me that i can't handle even though it might be mentally messing with us at that time to where we feel you know psychologically stuck but when we can be able to say you know what we gotta look in the mirror say our little mantras say our little affirmations i deserve to be loved the universe loves me i'm gonna love it back you know they're sending me blessings i need to be able to take those blessings and be grateful for even the littlest things that they send me you know when they see that you are grateful for the things that they're sending you they send more you know because it's just a lot of times there's people, I, I can honestly say, I've tried suicide. I, I've attempted suicide a few times. But obviously, I used to get pissed at God saying, why are you allowing, I'm trying to go, but you won't let me go. <laughs> you know, and that's a sad situation. But then when I look at 
what I'm doing now, I knew that he wasn't done with me yet. Even though I felt like I didn't want to be here anymore. I hated feeling the pain that I felt. But I was able to let that go. I have to be able to let that go. And I, you know, even though I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I can cry and say, you know what, I'm letting these things go. I can't change how people have done me. I can't change how they continue to feel the certain things that I feel. But I can change how the response, I'm going to be able to perceive it, how how I'm going to allow this not to have power over my life because there's so many good blessings that are coming in my way. You know, I used to feel like, you know, I don't feel like anything's coming my way, but then I have to look at, you know, how I'm able to help, you know, other empaths that are going through, you know, trying times and dark times, trying to find their way down that yellow big road. You know, being able to do that, and it's just like, yeah, I've been put in the most worst possible situation. You know, being adopted, knowing that your family knew this whole time who your family was, but, you know, did certain things that were very selfish, selfishly, you know, just to be able to keep y'all apart. Yeah, I can't be mad at them anymore because they're human, just like me. We have all had our faults. We have all did things we are not proud of. Even though they might come back to me, not come back to me and apologize for it, I have to just take that sorry I never got just so I can just be able to, you know, not be able to give them things to just say, you know, I'm going to let them slide. No, it's not about letting them slide. It's be able to have that peace of mind in my heart and not be able to hold that anger in no more. Yeah, it's taking a day-by-day -day basis, but every day that I have that chance to wake up again and start a new day, I'm going to say, you know what? We're letting this go. If you have to keep telling yourself this, you know what? Things have happened. Nobody is perfect. We have, you know, God wasn't even perfect, but God died for us, for us to be able to do what we have to do, for us to be able to reach out. We go through painful things for us to be able to accept, set up, be set an example for others, to be able to lead them towards their way. Like I tell y'all every all the time, you never know what your situation is. The story of your life might help the next person. Because it's like some of y'all been coming out and telling me certain things. And I'm just like, oh, my God. You know, I just send y'all love and prayers because there's no way I, I can't. You know, I can't even fathom to sit up here and say, I know what you feel. Because I don't. There are certain things I can relate to, and there are certain things I can't relate to. But I never pass judgment on nobody because we all have a past. You know, that's why I'm just so open about mine. I really don't give a damn. Because it's like, who, you know, who is anybody else to judge me? Only God can do that. And He doesn't judge me. He forgives me for the things I'm doing. Even though I might pay for the stuff that I'm put out. Or, you know, I don't use my special gifts or my blessings to be able to manipulate the universe be able to manipulate you know people's thoughts and aspects of me you know either you love me or you hate me or you're gonna deal with me or you don't but I can at least say you know the love and the frequency I'm able to give out that they pass towards me I'm being able to feel that back from y'all you know and that's the true blessing for myself and like I tell y'all y'all know how bad I was crying I was crying for at least about two hours like my eyes were swelled shut yesterday like, I, I can't take this. I'm doing karate chops to y'all. Like, yeah, you know, and it was a beautiful thing. I'm like, okay, y'all are just doing it too much. It's just too much. It's too much. But then I was so grateful for that. And I said, this is love. Now, I remember seeing my dad in concert where he was sitting in the stool and playing the guitar. And after he finished a song, he just got really quiet. And then you just hear all these screams and all you hear people saying, I love you, Prince. And I love you. And he just sat there and all of a sudden you just see him just start crying. And I said, you know what? I know what that feels like now. I can finally say I know what that feels like, even though I can't hear y'all screaming at me like that love I can feel it coming because y'all have so much powerful energy even though you might have gone through so much hell when you're able to be blessed to be able to give that love like yeah I'm going through this but I want you to be able to take this gift that I'm giving you and I'm trying so bad not to cry y'all because that's a beautiful thing that is really a beautiful thing because it's just like when I've read y'all stories, when you have been open enough to tell me, Rosalind, these are the things that I went through, you know, and it takes a lot for you to be able to open up to somebody and wonder how they're going to take you. And it's a blessing when I can look at somebody's past and I said, just open up and tell me what's going on with you. And, you know, I can be able to, I'm going to help out as best ways as I can. And it's just like some of y'all, well, a lot of y'all, all of y'all actually, not some of y'all, but y'all have touched my heart in so many ways.
it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful because I never knew I was going to be in a spot like this to be able to help somebody. I know since I was little, I always wanted to be able to help people. I didn't know how I was going to help people, but I just want to always put a smile on their face. And I, I told my parents I was determined to do that. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I was determined to do that. And it just took me to have to be in a position of having my father taken away for me to be able to help y'all. And just be able to share that pain with y'all and let y'all know it hurt it really hurt to be put in a situation like this but just to let people know there is always there's a reason why you're still here there is a reason why you can still put a smile on your face and say yes yeah, just because these trying things happen to me this is not all what my life is supposed to be about it's not you deserve to be happy you deserve to be loved regardless of what anybody has ever told you. You deserve that happiness in your life. You deserve that peace of mind. This is why you keep feeling that energy. Sometimes you might resist it, but stop resisting. Just let it flow through you. I resist y'all sometimes because it can be overwhelming. But then I allow that to come into me because I, I deserve that. You know, I feel like I deserve that. Sometimes we feel like we're not worthy of God's gift. We feel like we're not worthy of love, and you are. You truly are. No matter what kind of dark past you have, believe me, you, you deserve any kind of piece of happiness that is trying to flow into your life. So don't resist it. And realize and know that you're stronger than you realize. Just know that you're going through these situations for a reason and, and just trust the process and just trust yourself to know that whatever dark situation you have been put in, it too shall pass. So I hope you're able to resonate with content in this video, y'all. I hate being mushy, but you know, when I feel it, I just let it go. I try to let it go. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie because I hate grind all day. But anyways, so much love to y'all. You know, our family is growing. Um, some people have left, but hey, it's all good anyway. You know, you, you learn what you need to learn and then going about your business. So much love to Beat Them Back, Sheila Sheila Lopez, much love to all y'all, and I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line, please share the video, and also give me a thumbs up. And let me know your opinion or your outtake about this video, and I'll see you later. Much love, peace, and be wild.